exactly how much money goes into buying a home. Did you know that there's more to buying a home than just the down payment and the closing costs? I'm going to share that information with you right now. When buying a home, think of it this way. There's four different times that you're going to need to come out of the pocket during the transaction. The first amount is called the earnest money deposit. That is customarily 1% of your purchase price. So if you are purchasing a home at 200,000, then that means your earnest money deposit will be 2,000. If you're purchasing a home at 300,000, that means your earnest money deposit will be 3,000. And if you're purchasing a home at 450,000, your earnest money deposit needs to be 4,500. It lets the seller know that you are serious about purchasing their home and that money typically goes into to escrow within three days of your offer being accepted. So that is money you want to have in the bank ready to go when you have an accepted offer. The second set of funds that you want to have in the bank ready to go are your inspection fee funds. Here in Sacramento, the buyer traditionally pays for all of their inspections. You don't want the seller paying for your inspection because then the seller's inspector might be biased and in their favor. So you want to purchase your own inspections. You don't want the seller to do it. Sometimes the seller might have some inspections on, have, on hand that may serve you well. And of course you want to see those. You want to be able to review those if you can but it's not always a guarantee so be prepared to pay for your own inspections. typically there's a pest inspection home inspection roof inspection and Sacramento also are sewer inspections because of all of the trees These inspections may cost you anywhere from two to three hundred dollars and you're also going to be paying for your appraisal fee which can be anywhere from four to five hundred dollars so be ready for that. A thousand dollar cushion in your bank account should cover it. So there's the inspection fee, the earnest money deposit fee, and your down payment. Fee number three. Your down payment can sometimes be paid through a down payment assistance program. So that could cover those costs. But typically a down payment for a typical FHA 30 year fixed loan is 3.5%. So you need to be prepared with 3.5% in the bank ready to go or more, at least 20% if you'd like to avoid PMI, private mortgage insurance. And the fourth and final set of money that you need to have on hand when you're ready to purchase are your closing costs. Closing costs can run anywhere from two to 3% of the purchase price. Oftentimes you can get your seller, whoever the seller is of the property, to pay for your closing costs out of the kindness of their heart or if you increase your offer by the amount that you need for closing costs. But make sure that it comes in at appraisal value if you do that. You don't want to get into any kind of appraisal issues there or you bring in the closing costs yourself and that will definitely make your offer stronger and again closing costs are typically two to three percent of the purchase price so from start to finish there you have it earnest money deposit fees inspection fees including the appraisal down payment amount or fees and closing costs Why? I'm gonna feel it.